To set up your PAX A35, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your power block, which should look something like this, or really any power block will do for the most part. Your power cable, that should come with the device. The back panel for your PAX A35. A screwdriver. An Ethernet cable. And this bundle of cables that goes with your packs or should have come with your packs. All right, so first let's connect the power cable to the power block and let's go ahead and plug this into the wall. That will be near where your packs is plugged in. This cable will then be plugged into this cable bundle in this little connector port to have a bunch of different cables coming out the top of it and one thick cable going to the bottom of it and here you'll see a little port that will be plugging this thin USB-C cable into. So let's do that now. All right. Now power is running to this cable. This thicker cable with the rubber collar on it will go straight into the PAX device to provide it power. So we're going to take this and take our PAX and we're going to take the flatter side of this port or this cable rather and we're going to line that up the flatter side to the wall of the back of the PAX so that the part with a little bit of a hill is sticking towards the outside. I'm going to slide that in place. We're going to take this rubber collar and we're going to make sure it lines up with this indentation here. And it should slide into place. That way the cable is nice and snug. We're going to put this back panel on. And you should start hearing the PAX device powering on. And we're going to screw these screws in. You'll notice it is powered on now. Next, you will either connect it to the Wi-Fi via the settings, which you will use the password PAX9876 with two at signs at the end, and PAX will be all lowercase. And if that doesn't work, just try the numbers 9876. Once you're in there, you'll be able to go to internet and select Wi-Fi while you'll be prompted for a password after selecting your Wi-Fi, of course. But for the large majority of you that will be using Ethernet, we're going to take an Ethernet cable, and we're going to take this red block here, and we're going to plug our Ethernet cable into it, and take the other piece, and we're going to plug this into a switch or a router that will be the same switch or router that your point of sale is plugged into. This is to ensure that they both connect on the network and don't run into any connectivity issues. If possible, try to use an Ethernet cable as opposed to Wi-Fi on your PAX A35 as it tends to be more reliable and stable and avoid, it helps you avoid some issues later down the line. So I'm just going to have that plugged in back here. Okay. And just like that, you're done. These other cables you can fortunately ignore as the main three that we care about are your internet connection through this red block if you're using ethernet of course, your power connection that plugs into that little junction here like we talked about before, and of course the cable connecting it all to your PAX device. With all these three, you're ready to go, ready to set this up to your back office and ready to start taking transactions.